This is the power hobby crawler that I built. It is phenomenal. Can it hang with the SCX10 Pro? We're gonna find out. Let's get to that table. Other than both of them being straight axle, they are very different trucks. Let's get the top off. Although they both have servo on axle, they are very different. Holmes BLS SHV650 right here on top. And on the Pro, it's tucked down quite a bit lower for a better center of gravity right there. And that is a Reese 1100 Smart Servo. Powering these two is also very different along with the entire drive line. Here we have a Crawlmaster Mini V2 with a Holmes Revolver 380 size motor, uh, 2000 kV. Here we have a Hobbywing Fusion 2300 kV. Underneath we can see even more difference. The Power Hobby has got a forward mount transmission design as where the SCX10 Pro is in the center. However, the motor is more forward on the Pro versus the Power Hobby. As far as any overdrive goes, if you know about the SCX10 Pro, then you already know it has a selectable 40% underdrive. The Power Hobby has the over and under. Not exactly sure, but I guess it's around 30%. You guys do the math on that one and comment down below. But anyway, let's get on to the tires. I'm using the same tires on each truck. This way there's no tire variance or any of that stuff. Now, these are the G8 compound um, trenchers by Proline, and these do have the flubber stuffers in them, and the wheels are by Power Hobby. And there is a difference in the offset of these. Uh, that one you can see the hub wider, so that goes on the front, and that hub is narrower, that goes on the rear, and that should work just fine on both of these trucks. I'm not exactly sure of the skid angle on these trucks. I believe the SCX10 Pro is 3.5 degrees, maybe five or six degrees on the Power Hobby, but the Power Hobby does have more of an angle on it. Let's weigh these in. Just the chassis, no wheels and tires with the battery. We're at three pounds, 14.1 ounces for the Pro. And for the Power Hobby, let's see where we come in at. 2 pounds 13.5 so pretty much there's a pound difference in chassis between the power hobby and the pro and we are ready to go uh yeah the pro runs first let's do this the turn test let's see where we go all the way to the left and yes underdrive is engaged i mean that's kind of the only fair way to do this right i can't disengage the other one Take this over, nice and tight. You can kind of see that front end digging in. You can kind of see that a little bit. All right, so there we are. I'm gonna make a mark of my finger. Hopefully we can see this mark right there. Okay, Power Hobby, let's see what you got with your over and under. You're rubbing the front of the body. I'm looking at right here is the sign, the mark. I don't think we're going to get that. Looks like the 40% under of the Pro is going to get a clean wind right here. This is where the Pro was. There's the Power Hobby. Okay, we're going up this, over the top, and then down Super V. Both trucks drive differently, so let's hope I can... Uh, Get them as close as possible. And here we go. I'm gonna do my best to hold the same lines, but the trucks are gonna drive different, even with the same tires. So I'm gonna to try to hold a good steady throttle. And hopefully, I think about the only thing that might differ here, could have something to do with the skid right here, but maybe, Throttle and control. Let's see if I, I got. It. See if I can crawl it. No, nope, there's no crawl. Let's give it a bump. Now let's check some balance. Bring it down. Super V. Okay. Let's see if we can not flip. Looking good. Looking good. Got it. All right, see what you can do here. Well, wow, both these trucks are so different. 
Now, the Pro being a pound heavier, is that going to help it or hurt it? It almost seems like it's helping it with traction. Now, let's see what we got going here. It's not going to make the crawl. So, let me give it the bump. There we go. We got that. All right. Let's see if we can not flip over here. This is a major test to properly balancing your truck. Because if you got everything up front, it'll just simply fall over. And that's happened to me a lot while testing. But we got it. Here we have Gatekeeper. Let's see what we got going here. Got to make that front end kind of fall off a little bit. Once you get that, then it's an easy walk right up. And yeah, the sun is going down. Time was a little short. We are rubbing a little bit there. If I can get this to fall into the same groove. Right there, give it a turn, and we're done. Now we got the cliffhanger. Let's see what we got going here. This is a heck of a climb right here. Ooh, the front left tire was totally in the air. Looks like we got up onto that pretty well. Now I've got to make the turn. Let's see if I can bring the front end up. When we can get brass for this thing up front, it'll make a world of difference, I'm thinking. Let's see where this back tire is. If this comes off the edge or if this thing gets the rotation, we got it. Let's see. Wow, that is, got it. Nice. Okay, see what we got here. Got to watch that throttle control here. Two different trucks, guys. Uh, wow, we are leaning pretty crazy into this, but I think we got it. There are no sliders on this truck. And sometimes that's a good thing Sometimes that's a bad thing. Let's see if I can get the rotation here. Nope, I'm not gonna get the rotation. If I can get that to turn. No, I'm not gonna quite get that. Gotta get that rear left tire to come off like what it is now. It came off with the Pro pretty well. Done. And Castiel, let's see what you got here. Nice pull up that. Ugh. Oh, you see that thing hold right there? Got it, got it. Took a little bump, but made it. See what you got. They do have about the same exact wheelbase, so they're gonna kind of pull about the same nice pull up that holy shimoli that was way too easy for this thing let's jump on crowley i don't know that the 10 pro has ever actually completed crowley before but there's always a first time and i know it's doable i'm not going to pull any punches Let's see if I can make this, make the grab. If it goes over, it goes over. Man, we're right there. I think the last time I tried this, I determined I had to have a little bit of weight on the front. Man, I'm so close right there. Uh, yeah, this one, unfortunately, doesn't have the front weight yet. Yet. Okay, your turn to see if you can get this one. This truck has been up this before. 
Let's see if we can get it today. Got to get that tire up on there. Oh, look at that. Come on. Get the catch. Oh, man, look at that. It's already got this. Even if uh, I can't complete it for some reason right now, which, whoa, never mind. Got it. Wow. I keep telling you guys, <laughs> this is a really, really good running chassis, good running truck. And there you go. Now, I do got to say, um, in the rocks, to me, the Power Hobby drove better. Um, when you get out and about, in which we did not do that, the one-to-one uh, -one or lack of underdrive on the Pro will beat the Power Hobby because it's more efficient. Now, to the courses at hand. A steering test, easy win. Uh, Pro got that. On the uh, up and down, the Super V, they were both pretty much the same on there. I can't, I can't call that one out of the way. On the Gatekeeper, both pretty much the same. There's no difference as far as what I could tell. On Cliffhanger, going up Cliffhanger, I've got to give that to the Pro because it took one less backup, possibly two. I think I had one with this and maybe three with this one. But regardless, Castiel, going up Castiel, that was an obvious win for the Power Hobby. And for the final climb, going up Crowley, well, hey, the Power Hobby made it. The Pro did not. So that kind of puts it two and two. Um, you guys let me know down below what you guys think. I feel on a more open distance traveling course, the Pro is by far the best way to go. In the nasty, tight, twisty areas, the Power Hobby just seemed to feel better, in my opinion. But you know what? You guys let me know what you think. Um, yeah, both of them, absolute winners. Check that description. Use those links. Leave your comments. Hit that subscribe and ring that bell. And also check out Exit Cage RC. Haha. Guys, you're awesome. Catch you later. If you're still watching, you are top shelf. You are the cream of the crop, the pick of the litter. You are phenomenal. Thank you for watching to the end of the video. It means a lot to me. Now, down below, there are links for the products you see. Also, for channel memberships, if you guys want to be a part, channel members get early viewing on pretty much everything that I can. So, guys, check that description. There's a lot of info down there. Thank you all for watching.